Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Today we're going to take a look at Heat Online and this is a free to play racing MMO. Let's get started. As you can see I'm already in the game. The character creation process is very very simple. Um, wanted to give you guys kind of a, a, a little bit deeper look than just right at the beginning. <clears throat> so we got in as you can see right now I've already got a quest that's being offered to me. Basically let's go and race, follow the green arrows. So we're going to follow the green arrows and see what uh, see what cleavage has to lead us to. So show me, and she's gonna put a green arrow above our head. We're gonna take off and go see where she wants us to go. Now essentially it's very similar to a lot of other racing games, Need for Speed Online, Drift City, stuff like that. You're gonna use the arrow keys up and down for acceleration and brake, you can see right there. We can also switch our cameras around using C. We can go to a first person, we can actually go to a driver, and we can, we can zoom out a little bit by using our actual mouse wheel so it looks like we actually went past the spot we need to go to we can also use the space bar for a quick break so we can do a little power slide into this little parking lot and we're going to jump into a quick race it looks like it's almost like a little go-kart race but let's see if that's actually what it is so let's get in there and see what they've got for us so map hangar mode versus race laps total four so it's loading up right now you do have when you're in the race you can see quick repair so if you do hit like walls or stuff like that you do have the ability to just hit backspace and quick repair all kinds of different stuff like that but it's really cool because the game does a lot of leading you around as far as different missions and different races that you can do you can see these guys are trying to go through the wall you can also see on the ground it's kind of leading us around to the most optimal path to take now obviously because I don't have the best car, I can't take that optimal path, but I'm going to do the best that I can and uh, try and see if I can get past this guy here pretty quick. See if I can do a little overtake. And luckily, I'm not going to bounce off of him. I can just uh, scoot right by him. So there we go. We overtook the lead. Now, we can also hit control and use a little bit of nitrous. Let's see if we can get a straightaway. We're not going to use it here. We'll use it on the next straightaway that's coming up here shortly. And there we go. There's our little nitrous. So we're going to take off. And depending upon <clears throat> the card you have, depends on the type of nitrous or the amount of nitrous that you can have. You can see down in the bottom right hand corner, I've got my tachometers and also at the top of that tack is actually the nitrous gauge. So that shows exactly how much nitrous I have. So I've used about half of it. I've got a little bit more. I'm not too worried about it because right now I'm leading these guys. I got one guy kind of right on my butt, but we'll, we'll get away from him in a little bit. So let's get back into the hangar and we're gonna use it right there. Actually, it looks like he's using it too, so that's why he shot away from me a little. So, but we, we're gonna, I was gonna say we're gonna overtake him, but he overtook us right back. So you can use little short bursts, depending upon uh, how long you hold down the actual uh, control for the nitrous. So it's kind of cool, you get, you get a lot of control as far as that's concerned. Now that he went into the wall, we'll definitely overtake him and take off, and somehow he just went right through that wall and, uh, and cut right back up to me. But I'm not too worried about it. I'll get him right in, right in the end. Now, what's really nice is when you're in an actual race and you're racing against other guys, you can bang them into these walls. You can actually cause enough damage to where their uh, their actual car can can explode, or they have to take a timeout essentially and repair it, or you know, essentially like a pit stop. And you can tweak out your cars however you want. Obviously, you know, I have one of the beginning cars right now because I just started in the game. But later on, you can get all kinds of different vehicles. We're going to go into a little arena area where you can see a bunch of different guys driving around after we get out of this section here. And I can show you guys some different cars that, that different players have. You also have a lot of different game modes, which is really cool because you've got the, everything from driving around in the mud to uh, driving around as a police car. Uh, I mean, there's a, you know, almost like capture the flag type modes. You have to capture different uh, different points, so to say. But the game the game does a pretty good job of, of giving a lot of options as far as uh, if you want to play certain modes. They also have different tournaments and stuff like that that are going on on uh, different daily events. I should say, not necessarily tournaments, different daily events that are going on that you can take uh, take part in and actually win prizes, whether it be you know a new color for your car whether it be new vinyl, whether it be, or it actually be an upgrade or better better nitrous, all kinds of stuff like that. Which is funny because it actually looks like our nitrous is resetting after every single uh, lap. So we need to start using that a little bit more 
and uh, getting into uh, getting into using that nitrous and get ourselves ahead of this this other car here in a little bit. So let's get around this corner. Nice little power slide. Now you can power slide by either by taking the corners really hard, using your brake, which can be really a little bit more difficult, simply because using the up arrow and the down arrow at the same time can be a little tricky. Or you can also use you can also use your hand brake, which is the space bar. So we're gonna actually power slide into the garage here, and uh, this guy Nathan is giving me a run for the money. So let's see if we can we can get past him here before we got one more lap to go. We're gonna have to see if we can do a little bit better to, to overtake him. So we overtook him, but I think he ran into the wall. So let's see if we can we can get ourselves a little bit ahead of him. And there we go, use our nitrous, use what's left of our nitrous. It looks like it didn't actually reset that time. Maybe it's just a matter of uh, getting around getting around some of these some of these areas a little bit clean because I know you can do you can do clean sectors which means like if you run through a certain sector and you section of the map and you actually do it clean then you take and you actually get a little bit of bonus you could see that kind of running in the uh, top or the bottom right hand not really but more, more like the right side so you can see there's a little check mark so we got a clean sector so it looks like each sector gives me a little bit of my nitrous back so we're going to go ahead and use that we've got a sizable lead but either way adding to our lead won't hurt this is our last lap you can also see right there in the upper right hand corner you can see our best lap our last lap your record world record so somebody actually ran this pretty good as far as uh, being able to do, you see I'm doing it in about a minute 20 and he did it in 40 seconds so I'm not sure which uh, which car he had but he definitely had he definitely had some skills as far as running the uh, running these laps pretty clean so let's get around here and we'll power through to the to the final to the end so we won that and we'll crash into the wall even better so and it looks like we actually leveled up because I got down in the bottom left hand corner in the chat you can see gained 360 experience you're now level 7 you can see their lap times my lap times you also take it when you do more of the PvP type type stuff you get all this stuff as well so let's go ahead and go back get out of here and there we go the little hottie comes up again congratulations your reward and not only do we get exp but we also got some cash so let's close that out and we'll get into the next section. You can see up here the little bar that's telling me how far I am to low, into level seven as well. Now it's really weird because you've got this this loading. It always takes a while to load. Not sure why, but either way. Now one thing that's kind of interesting is you may have saw right there that little Tokyo drift or whatever it was. So we can go into the options. Which funny is if you go into the sound, you can choose what kind of sound you want. So you can actually put my music. You can use electronic. Let's switch it over to headbanger and let's hit apply and see what comes up. Probably can't hear it too much because I turned it down to make sure that you guys can hear me. So let's get out of here. You can see there's another guy right there, and he's got kind of like a. Uh, <clears throat> it almost looks like the uh, the BMW little boxy type SUV that they've got. Now we can cruise over here. We can also take, and there goes another car right past us. We can hold down backspace, and that'll show us all the different options we have as far as the different things we can do, whether it be a screenshot, go to our inventory, our trunk, single player. We can also go to the room list. And here's the room list. You can see all the different rooms. You can see the map or track name here. You can see the length, how long it is, how many different players, and uh, voting is enabled after the end of the match. You don't have to go back to the room, but you can vote for the next map, map and track, all that stuff. And then it shows the strongest car. So if you see in there the strongest car is much, much better than yours, you may not really be apt to jump into that. But let's get out of that. We're going to cruise over here, show you guys a little bit of the, uh, the single play. I think we can get into that. Yeah, we can get into single play without going over here. We can bring it up here. Now, in the single play, you can do either practice, which you can choose a bunch of different options. You can choose one of 19 different maps. You can see here it shows the, the difficulty of eight. Uh, you can also change the different style of map with stop before we run into something. You can also kind of choose a little bit of weather, summer mist, autumn daytime, all that different stuff. So you can choose it. There's a lot of different options as far as what the different map types and, and stuff like that. But you can see here, this is a mud map. So we don't necessarily want to run that with this car. So you want to have the right car for all that stuff. You've got Circuit, uh, San Francisco Marina, you got Japan, some play construction area, California Raceway. You've got all kinds of different stuff going on. You can also go into the tutorial, and in the tutorial you can walk through learning the controls, street driving, 
um, drafting, uh, or drifting, I should say, and duel. I didn't do any of those because I kind of get the, the basic gist of how to play these racing games. Then you can go into career, and you can see here I've done two. This is kind of a little bit <clears throat> of the game's storyline. So it's it's mainly PVE, and you race against different guys, but you've got to have these little these little keys. Now, I can actually do this one. Earlier, I couldn't. It said I didn't have the keys. So we're going to go ahead and run this little this little PVE mission, show you guys this, and then after this, we'll jump into hopefully a, uh, a PvP race. So here's our little chick again. Here's our little storyline. It's kind of comic booky a little bit. Press any key to continue. So let's do that, and let's move on. Mission goals. Solemn test on a line sense tract. Get through the course in time. So I've got 34 seconds to get through this course. Now, if I complete this in bronze, you'll see at the end, I'll be able to either complete it, take the items that the game gives me, or I can also try it in silver. But let's let's start by uh, by just seeing if we can get through this in just bronze. So we're gonna we're gonna cruise through these cones. So I ran over a cone, so I didn't get to uh, <laughs> I didn't get to beat it. So let's try this again one more time, real quick, before uh, I move on to something else. So essentially, we've got to run it super clean. So we want to we want to take it a little bit slow. Come on, let's get through all this. Press any key. So no cones. Usually you can hit stuff, but I guess not in this mode. And mission failed. It's so tough to do that with you know with with just the uh, the arrow keys. So. I'm not too worried about it. I'm just going to get out of here. But I wanted to show you guys that stuff. You can also go into these different challenge modes, which is really cool because this this top challenge mode, you get to run around in the mud, which is pretty fun. Then you've got some knockout on the San Francisco. One, two, three, four. And then you've got license test. And then you've got block the car. So you've got different things that are teaching you kind of different uh, racing techniques, you know, so to say. So then you've got your license. So you take this license. So drive through the course without hitting anything within the given time. And then you, you see the car that it's given. You can see the time limits for the <clears throat> for the bronze, silver, and gold. And then you can also see the rewards there. So we're going to head out of here. And let's go ahead and let's go into here and see if we can find a game that we can jump into. In the field mode. So room that match filters. I'm trying to find one that isn't started yet. Let's try this airport madness. Let's see if that's already started. Let's get in there and see if we can... Uh, you failed to join the channel, blah, 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 blah. Looks like uh, we're gonna go ahead and go ready. Let's. Looks like they're they're not started or they are started. So, he's ready. Seconds until start, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. All right, so I'm actually gonna get into a game, but you can see right there, he's got a pretty sweet car. I, You can see he's level 88, or at least one of the guys in this is gonna be level 88. <clears throat> and you can see Airport Madness, mode, CTF, so capture the flag, we've got five minutes, and I'm probably gonna get pretty smoked because these guys all have better cars than me. But this is more about showing you guys kind of the PvP or the uh, the versus mode. Not really PvP, because you're not out to kill each other. <laughs> Say hello back, that'd be nice. All right, so we've gotta go and find some flags. He's off, He's got the. he's got one already. Use our nitrous because he is way faster than us. I'm gonna have to get lucky to get that flag from him. So I have no nitrous left. He's way faster than me. And the other guy is sitting there doing absolutely nothing. So we're gonna have to uh we're gonna have to try and what is he what is he up in the uh <clears throat> So let's see if we can get some some points here. We've got to get the, we've got to get the flag to the green zones. Let's see if these guys we can stay away from these guys a little bit. We get over to this next one. We got another one to get over here. Oh, took the flag from me. 
and there's no way I'm gonna catch him. So there we go, we got a little bit of nitrous. Can we use it to our advantage to get over here? Get that one spot. Now obviously it's kind of nice because <laughs> these guys can't just turn on a no. Talk about turning on a dime, head-on collision there to get the flag away from me. But they can't just turn on a dime because it's not uh, it's not a, uh, a shooter or something like that. So they've actually got to make some maneuvers. Oh, I just missed him. And unfortunately, that guy is just sitting there doing nothing. So we're going to take off. Get over here, get some points. So you can see you get points for every second that you have the flag. Hey, give me that thing back. I think this guy's just toying with me now. He's such a high level, and he's got such a better car than I do. Hey, how come I didn't take the flag from him? This way. Let's go scoot through here a little bit. Let's see if he's actually on. I think this guy might be letting me uh, let me get a little uh, a little bit of time with this flag since he's much higher level than me. But he's definitely taking it when he wants it. There he goes. So we've got a minute and a half left. Let's see if we can uh, we can actually catch up to him a little bit. See if we can legitimately take the flag back. Oh, I thought for sure that would get me the flag. There we go. I think he's just using it to get these aggressiveness points. We got a minute left. Let's cruise over here. And he's on my tail. So I think we're just, I think he's kind of just trading the flag back and forth with me. We're going to see if we can't uh, hold on to it for a little bit. Maybe not. <laughs> So it's kind of cool. They've got these. They've got maps that are, you know, different tracks and stuff like that. Is he going to come out the front side? That's pretty awesome. You can go through the plane like that. So you've got you've got maps, like I said, that you know are more like tracks. You've also got this map, which is really wide open, pretty fun. There we go. We'll take that. Where's the other this other spot? See if we can get one more flag in before the final eight seconds. Four, three, two, one. Not gonna make it. Good game. And I gained 352 PP and 352 EA XP. So not too bad. Flag kept for 218. He only kept it for 205. But like I said, I think he was kind of playing nice to uh to let me get get some extra EXP because if he would have kept it the entire time as you can see because this guy didn't have it at all he didn't get any EXP so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna quit the match head out and you can see we've got some different shop stuff so I want to show you guys some other stuff so I want to get into the actual arena area so I can show you guys the trunk and inventory and all that stuff before I have to go so let's go ahead and let's exit out of here so we head over here to the exit room but I think it's pretty cool, you know, you see all the different cars that people have access to. Now, none of the cars have legitimate names, and you can also see in the chat a lot of foreign players. Um, there's, <laughs> there, there hasn't been a lot of English from what I've seen in the, in, the, in the different chat, but, you know, I did just play in that one match, and that guy definitely spoke English and stuff like that, so always, uh, always nice to get lucky and see one English player. But let's go into our inventory. So we've got our mission trunk. We've also got our, our all of our different items, so you can see spare items in the garage. So you can see I've got a ghost car, and you can highlight over these, see what they do. You've got a lot of different items that do different things. You can outfit your cars with them. <clears throat> you also have 
different things like uh, different different types of battle items. So you can see this is specifically for um, this is specifically for the uh, if I want to do the CT. These items are specifically for the CTF that I like the, the mode I was just doing. I've also got for Explorer. You've also got for the different missions stuff like that. Then you've also got puzzle collection. And then where's the actual, here's the event calendar that I wanted to show you guys. So you can see all the different events that are going on. These are the events that were going on today. There's pretty much an event going on every single hour. So the game does a really good job of constantly having things that players can involve themselves in. So you can see all the events for the day. You can see championship events, task events, system events, server bonus, uh, challenge events, all that different stuff. So it's really cool to see a game that's that's got a lot of different events for different players. Now I do want to go over to where is was it the Crew HQ? I'm not sure if it's there or I think it's the Crew HQ where I can show you guys a little more of the different stuff that you can put on your car and, and different things you can do to your vehicle and stuff like that. So let's cruise over here. So Crew List create crew nope that wasn't it but essentially you can get a crew so you can uh, <clears throat> you can take and have somebody that will take care of your car like I said during a race you hold down backspace and you can actually repair your uh, your your items and stuff like that let's see if it's in here look back menu single player nope either way you guys get the basic idea it's pretty much a simple racing game Graphics are pretty decent. Sound is kind of up to you. You can pick either the electronico or the headbanger, or you can put your own music in there and have that running while you're playing the game, running around. You can see all kinds of different vehicles are available. Even everything, you've got a little bulldozer right there. Almost a little, uh, what do they call them, bobcats or whatever. You've also got a little uh, dirt racer guy right there. So it's pretty cool to see a lot of variety and that different stuff. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's trip inside the den. Don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released. And don't forget to comment and tell us anything that we missed or anything we should have covered. And also, make sure that you like this video. If you'd like to play or learn more about Heat Online, you can read our full review at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. Till next time, thanks for watching.